This is Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. Let me tell you, you look absolutely stunning today. Today's the final show for season three, so I thought we'd do something a little bit special. And um, I'm just gonna tell you what the colors are today. It's titanium white, some phthalo green, and some alizarin prism. And I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I went ahead and applied uh, the clear medium so it's on there, and it is a black canvas. And I went ahead and just uh, put some black gesso on there. I let it dry, and then I put that medium. And you can do it yourself, or you can go to the store, and you can actually buy these uh, store-bought also. So um, with that, let's go ahead and rock and roll. And remember, always believe in yourself, okay? There's a lot, a lot of things going on in this world, a lot of stress, but when it comes to art, the only person blocking you is you. So just believe in yourself, feel good, and put it on that canvas. And today, um, what I wanna go ahead and do is I'll just mix some color first. So I'm gonna take some of this phthalo green and all of the chrism here, and we're gonna mix it all together. And this is gonna make a nice charcoal type of color, okay? And make sure you mix this very thoroughly. And just get ready to rock, rock and roll. So we're gonna do something nice and deep. And we get all that extra, there we go. And I'm gonna go right into the halo green, okay? We'll pull some out, tap some in. And if you tap it in, it will just help you, um, just to make sure you get everything all, all around. And I wanna put it right here. So right here, we're gonna basically get this right here, and maybe right here, all the fail will color, okay? And I'm not, I'm not using a lot of, a lot of paint, okay? And I'm gonna go right into, right into this color right here that we made, okay? Same thing, just tap it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in the rest of the, rest of the paint, okay? And all I'm doing is basically just, just tinting, tinting the canvas with the color, okay? And then just softly, softly. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and, and rock it out. So let's go ahead and do a little slab and a dabbing. Ooh, I bumped my, bumped my easel there. Go ahead and pull out some of that white. Same thing, just tap it in. You can use a two inch brush. You can use a one inch brush. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, let's, what light source is going to be right here, okay? You want the source right here, okay? And so that's that nice little phthalo. And then we're gonna just start working it, working on on out, okay? Just keep working, keep working. And I'm just doing X's, okay? That's all I'm doing, just a bunch of X's. Keep working it, keep working it. Yeah, I want a little bit, maybe a little bit more over here. So the crib prism and the phthalo green, when you mix them, and I had them equal equal proportion, I don't remember if I even said that, they're 50-50 proportion, okay? Um, but it makes a nice, nice charcoal color. Nice charcoal color. All right. Now since this is the light source, okay, I wanna go back in and uh, add a little bit more white and blend out, okay? I need to clean this brush, okay? The brush is dirty since it's got the other color in it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, and I'll be right back with a clean, dry brush. Let's go right back into a little bit more white. 
just a little bit more white here. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Very softly, and then I wanna start working out. But I just want a little bit more here. Okay. Start coming out like that. There we go. Maybe, maybe something like this. Just straight down. I'm gonna put this down and grab another brush I got to blend. And now we're gonna blend it. Clean, clean brush. And we'll start here. Get these hairs out. There's an issue with natural bristle brushes is that you do get hairs, but it's okay, you just work around it. And I'm just blending this out. Same thing, using those X's. There we go. Now, with a fan brush, let's go and tap into just a little bit of your white here. And we'll come into here. Okay. Might need a little bit more. Might need a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. Just tap it in like this. Okay. And we're just gonna tap some stuff in. No worry. We're gonna go back over. We just want some background stuff. Okay. And all I'm doing is tap, 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 sideways like this, okay? Do something like so. Just like that. Tap, 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 tap. It's easier just to keep moving. Just hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, hit, move, okay? Let's come over here. Go ahead. I got a round brush I'm testing out from a manufacturer. Actually, I got a couple of brushes here from a manufacturer I'm testing out. I got the one inch here, and also got this uh, two inch as well, and that, that blender brush. So I'm testing out some, some different brushes. But you can use a, uh, a one inch brush as well and tap some stuff in. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this dark color, and we're gonna tap into it. You can just use the corner. Oops. Top corner of your brush right here, just tap it in there and you'll be good to go. Okay. And I'm just gonna get some, there we go. Just something like this. Kick it up. Tap a little bit here and have less pain. It'll give you some extra distance into this. Same thing here. Just tap it in. Keep going with it. Keep going with it. It just makes it look nice and dark. Nice and dark. Okay. I'll get over here as well.
put this down. I'm gonna grab a liner brush. I'm gonna use some clear medium. And you can use a clear gel. I'm gonna go right into this right here. something else here. Just trying to get some nice, nice little details here. Okay. Uh, with your one inch brush, two inch brush, and once again I'm still using this. Uh, nice little round brush. Let's go ahead and get some, get some tap into some of this white. And we're just gonna put some highlight, not a lot, but just a little bit. So just something like just something like that. Not, I don't even know if you can see it. But just something there. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And then a little bit over here. Something like that. Okay. A little bit over here. All I'm doing is softly tapping, softly tapping, okay? Softly tapping. Just a little bit right here. I want to make some, just a little bit of some mist over here. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. Okay. I want some some mist. It's not a lot of a lot of white. If you use too much white with this, it's going to explode. I don't want it to explode. Remember, white is an opaque color. Okay, the colors that we put on earlier, the um, this mixture right here, which is the chrism and the phthalo green, both of those colors are translucent. So when you apply them, you, you, you look black. White is opaque. So once you apply that white, it, it really, is, it just explodes everything, okay? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, okay? Something like that, there we go. You can use your one inch brush and you can just sit here and just keep going like this, okay? Slow, or not slow, but just very, very tight. Tight, tight, and actually soft. I know it sounds like I'm scratching or something like that, but really, really, it's not too, too, too hard. Just keep lifting up. It's gonna diffuse everything and make it look nice and nice and messy, okay? do it, the more it will just blend out for you, okay? Here we go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, one inch brush. I'm gonna go right into the dark right here. Right into the dark right here. And we're gonna do something like this. some water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush, grab some white, some white, okay. right here. Straight down with it. Straight down, okay? And I wanna add a little bit of this dark color to it as well. Here, I'm gonna come back with the white. It'll look really nice. Okay. One more time over here. There we go. Nice and dark. I'm just gonna turn the brush and use the clean side and grab that white. And we'll come in again. One. Since the white is right here, I want it. Right here, just a little bit of little. I don't want to overgive it. There we go. Something like there we go. That's nice. Okay. And then lightly across. And I'm using the white side, not the dark side. Okay, lightly across. Come in, go right back with the one inch. I'm just laying in some land right now. Just a little bit, just to give me an idea of what I want to do here. Not a lot of paint. If you put too much paint, you're going to have problems. Keep the paint small. You don't need a lot, okay? All right, I'm going to put this down. I'm gonna grab a liner brush and go right into there. Dark pile again, both sides. I'm just loading like this, okay? That's all I'm doing, okay? And I'm gonna come in and put it. I'm gonna come in and just start putting some trees. Not too thick. here. I'm thinning it out with a little bit of the thinner. Okay, just keep doing that. So it's nice and nice and thinned out. I'm tw twisting it, twirling it. Get a nice sharp point. And I'm just going to come in and just start putting in some branches. I'm just putting in some main ones and then just come back and try out some fun, I guess. Get some stuff up here. There we go. And that's it.
and just have some fun. Just have some fun. That's all it is. Just have some fun. I need to keep thinning it out, thinning it out. As long as it's thin, it will work for you, okay? I'm just gonna come in and just start having some fun. Start having some fun. Loads of fun. All I'm doing is just flicking, flick, flick, flick. A lot easier that way. Less stressful. <laughs> just less stressful. Just have some, have some fun. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take that uh, two-inch brush. It's a little dirty. It's got some of the dark color on it from earlier. Not too much. I want to see what this looks like. Uh, we'll go from there. I might change it up. I might change it up. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and just, I don't want it that bright. So I'm gonna go into this dark here. I've lightened it up a little bit with the white. And let's see what we get. Let's see that. I'm just going with the wave around here. And all I'm doing is tapping, tapping, tapping. That's it. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Go ahead and make a maybe make a path or something here, or we'll just cover it up. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Something like 
that. I just want the dark there. I just want the dark there. All right, let me go ahead and clean this. And uh, oh, let's put a couple of rocks actually. Okay, we'll go ahead and just use the same dark color. Uh, take some of this white. Let's put it over here and the dark color. And I want it dark and marbly like that, okay? Dark and marble. And we're just gonna highlight slightly. Just barely touching, kind of like we do uh, the mountains, okay? Same thing here. there it's pretty pretty decent there. and here's our dark color here go ahead and put a nice Come 
right back with the white, straight down like this. Grab a fan brush, and we'll go ahead and put in some high grasses. So we'll start with the dark, and then go in the white. Go on the both sides, and just come in and lift up. Just come in and lift up, lift up, lift up. Okay. Get that. Remember, just use the dark for now. And all I'm doing is coming in and pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Pushing up, pushing up. Sorry if my head's in your way. This one. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Just gonna grab a little bit of the, uh, just a tad bit of this white medium. I'm gonna go into the regular white. And then the same thing, just as you did before. Lift it up. Lift it up. Do something like this and then lift it up. There, I'm gonna grab the liner brush. Same thing when I go into the dark. some of the white here. And we'll be here for a little bit and make these grasses.
All I'm doing just real quickly is barely touching it and it just makes the grasses. I'm gonna put some more stuff here. This is just, I know it looks kind of funky right now, but it'll work out, okay? Sorry about the delay in talking. I kind of get stuck on this, trying to figure out where I want each and every one of these things. And I don't really, it just works out. I'm not really doing much. I'm just flicking it in. So it goes wherever it wants, but I'm just trying to put my placement there. With our fan brush, let's go ahead and Get into that nice little dark. Remember both sides, it's okay, both sides. And I'm thinking something. Ah, oh, there goes a rock right there, but we'll keep it right there. Maybe off the canvas, there we go, just straight down. Maybe it'll be something like that for now. There we go, something like that. This way. Okay. Ooh, something like that. Well, it'll come up and we'll have a little nice little something like that. All right. dark right here. Pathway. Let's go ahead and grab our, our palette knife. I'm going with the small guy.
Voilà. Just, uh, just not liking it, so I keep going back. You can keep changing your mind, it's okay. It's okay. Let me see, let me see. Let me give me what I want. There we go, maybe something like that. All right, I feel a little bit more comfortable now. There we go, something like that, okay? some of this white, a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the medium. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm pretty tired right now. It's pretty late at night, so my brain's not really functioning right. So I'm just tapping, tapping. And I just want to come in and get something in here. here there kind of just pushes everything kind of back right here Cat and mouse game with the dark and the light. I was just a little too bright, so you just thin it, thin it down a little bit. Okay, and you're looking good. Okay. I'm gonna take a uh, liner brush, and I'm gonna do something. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but my eyes are telling me I, I should do something nice here, something different. So I'm going into the dark here.
so I'll turn this out a little bit more. A little different, a little different. Go ahead, yeah, it's a little, a little different, huh? Maybe we'll put something over here too. Put something right here. Just a Here, yeah, wait, some of this off, it's a little too dark. different. I know it's a little, a little mysterious, spooky, but I figure this stuff's fun. If your mind's uh, telling you to do something. I'm telling you, just go with the flow. The window right here. Just went blend. Just one blend. And I'm gonna try to blend this guy too. See what I can do. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Right there. Spooky eyes there. We'll go ahead and blend that again. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. I'm just gonna give this just a little bit of highlight here there. Just tapping it. I'll probably end up blending this too, because I really don't want a lot of color. I just want some. So that you know it's a tree. Just following the tree line, just pulling it down, blending it right into it. There we go. Let's 
something like that, just so it's a little bit lighter and it's got something, something there. All right. Put in some nice lines. I'm gonna go into the dark. Into the dark. And then right here. Same thing. Put nice little twiggies in. Nice little twiggies. Put in a couple of scratches here and there. So, with your fan brush, I'm going to go into some of the medium, into the white. Last little highlight. I'm just gonna crunch this open. Some last little little highlights. I'm just using a, just a very side of the uh, fan brush right, right this second, just to get the glass a little. That's cool, it just makes it, you know, little flowers and not really do anything, just using the fan brush. And then same thing here.
to those last little things, I'm sorry. I get stuck doing it because it just starts to feel really good. It's like, whoa, see? See how it just explodes and I'm not, not doing anything, not doing anything. I think we're good. I'm gonna fiddle this thing again. All right. Last thing, I just want to just real quick, real quick. Last thing, I just wanna just blow this in a little bit. Just blow it in a little bit. softens it and just sets it into the canvas a little bit. I don't want too, too much detail. I want it to be kind of dark. I just want some, some of the highlights to let you know, hey, there's a highlight there, you know? Something like that. I think that's good. Finally sign this guy, let's go. your paint and it should slide right across all of this and I really hope you enjoyed the painting and if you would like to leave a comment please do so if you'd like to subscribe I do appreciate that as well well with that we went ahead and completed an absolute beautiful mysterious and kind of creepy painting and I do want to thank you very much if you made it to the very end and have not fallen asleep. So once again, if you like the program and you would like to subscribe, please hit that button. It always warms the heart. And I thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoy this project. And until next time, as always, I wish you the best. Take care.